starting our news today, the Oregon Supreme Court ruled this morning that Portland's controversial arts tax is constitutional. And those hoping to overturn it had argued it's a head tax, which is illegal in the state constitution. Tim Becker has more from the newsroom. The basis of the Supreme Court's argument is that the arts tax is not a head tax because it exempts some taxpayers based on income and household resources. Portland voters passed the arts tax five years ago, but it has been mired in controversy and lawsuits ever since. Several courts have heard the opponent's case, claiming the $35 a year per person tax violates the state constitution. Why argue this when it's only $35 a year? Well, but you take 35 by 600,000, that takes in a lot of money. But with today's ruling, all courts have now upheld the legality of the tax. Those who support the tax are pleased with today's news. City Commissioner Nick Fish calling the decision a big win for Portland kids. He says thanks to the ruling, over 30,000 Portland children will continue to have arts education in school. City attorneys have argued all along that it is not a head tax. The Arsingham tax doesn't possess those characteristics. It does take into account income uh, at several levels. They said that all along because people at or below the poverty line are exempt, along with taxpayers earning less than $1,000 a year. We're visiting with plaintiff George Wittemeyer, who tried unsuccessfully to repeal the tax. You'll hear from him on Coin 6 News later today. Back to you.